Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Upgraded Sets. Uh, today we're going to be upgrading the Erathas set. I used to call it uh, Ithras for the longest time, but it's actually Erathas. Uh, I would assume that's how you pronounce it anyway, or Irathas. <laughs> the Irathas set, or Erathas set, is, uh, is a very awesome set. Um, it is one of my favorite sets in the entire game, and it recently got a buff um, with the uh, 2.4 PTR. Now, I don't know if that buff is going to remain uh, because they are still doing balancing changes, but I am really excited about upgrading these sets, and so we're going to go through the process of uh, playing around with this. But before we start talking about upgrading it, uh, let's just go over the set itself. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, let's take a look at Erotha's Coil. Uh, which is 243 defense at level 99. It has a, a defense based on character level, which is pretty impressive. And uh, it only requires 55 strength at level 15, uh, which is relatively low on the strength requirement for a level 15 helmet. It gives you 30% lightning and 30% fire resist and can, of course, be socketed, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, we also have Erotha's Collar, which has poison resistance 30%, poison length reduction 75%, and uh, a bonus of 15 to all resistances uh, for, at the very least, two pieces, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, the uh, helmet is also a two-piece bonus. Uh, the Erotha's Cord gives 31 defense and has eight potion slots, which is not maximum, but it's not the bare minimum either. Um, it has a strength requirement of 45 and a low requirement of 15, uh, with plus 5 to minimum damage, which is actually pretty cool, because as you can see, I have 3 to 6 here, and when I put the belt on, I now have 18 to 19, uh, which is a pretty big bonus. Uh, we also get 25 defense and a 2 set bonus, uh, green bonus of 10 to dexterity. And then the gauntlets uh, give us a defense of 11, a 45 strength requirement, level 15, 30% cold resistance, half freeze duration, and 20% increased attack speed, all of which is very, very nice. Uh, also, we have a, uh, a two-piece bonus of 50 defense, a three-piece bonus of 20% faster run walk, and now 24% piercing attack, which means that uh, we have a 24% chance that our ranged attacks will go through the target out the other side and hit something else, which is freaking awesome. Um, and the reason why this is even better than I think a lot of people realize is that at level 15, you have no piercing attack. Um, there are very few items in the game that will give you piercing attack below level 30, and uh, and level 30 is when you actually get access to piercing attack on an Amazon. So if you are any character in the game who would like piercing attack before level 30, Arathas is now one of the sets that can give you 24% piercing uh, which is amazing. Um, and the full set bonus, of course, also includes 15 to dexterity, 10% uh, to all maximum resistances, uh, which basically means we can go above the cap. As you can see here, I am at 85% fire resistance, 85% cold resistance. That's absolutely nuts. And uh, the full set bonus actually gives us amazing resistances. Um, so if we have the 30% innate bonus that comes from the three scrolls, uh, we will actually get, as you can see here, by putting in all these pieces, uh, we will have an amazing 85% to all resistances, which is just great. Uh, we also get poison length reduced by 75%. We get uh, half freeze duration. We get increased attack speed. We get 20% faster road walk. I mean, we get so many wonderful things with this set, and, uh, and it is only four pieces. Uh, there are many other sets in the game that have huge requirements, and, uh, and this is not one of them. Um, you can also utilize the um, angelic set bonus with this if you would like. What you would do is you'd put the angelic armor on uh, with the two rings and you would get the nice angelic uh, and attack rating bonus. Um, you can also utilize the Saigon set with this. You could put the Saigon's boots, Saigon's shield, and Saigon's armor on to get the 10% life seal um, and other effects. Um, you could also utilize um, berserkers, uh, axe and berserkers, uh, body piece, um, and you could use Hasura's, which is uh, very nice. You could use Hasura's with this, so you could have the Hasura's shield, Hasura's boots, and uh, that is a pretty nice combo for attack rating. And uh, quite honestly, there's just so many cool things that you can do while wearing the full 
Eratha set, and the full Eratha set gives you so many nice bonuses and makes you so tanky that even in, believe it or not, even in Hell difficulty, it will bring up your resistances right to the point where you can start building them with other pieces of equipment. Um, and the fact that it leaves your shield slot open is absolutely great because you could tackle on something like an Ancient's Pledge. And uh, as you can see, I'm only at negative 5% with this particular set on, whereas without this set um, in Hell Difficulty, I would be rocking an absolutely terrible negative 70%. So, you know, we're talking about 65 to all resistances, 10% to all caps. Uh, you know, it, it, it just is an amazing set defensively, and it also gives you quite a few nice offensive abilities. It gives you the faster run walk, which will help you kite and get to places quicker. The 24% piercing attack, which will help your ranged attacks actually pierce through targets. The 15 dexterity is very nice to increase your block chance, your attack rating, as well as... Um, you know, other nice things that uh, Dexterity can do, like uh, like boosting up the ability to equip items. Um, you also have 20% increased attack speed on the gloves. I mean, just in general, I absolutely adore the um, Aratha set, and, uh, and I actually usually socket the crown and put something nice in it, uh, specifically to help out those little 15 characters. Now, one of the things that we can do with this set now is we can actually upgrade it. So uh, we are going to play around with upgrading the Aratha set, and... Um, we're going to see what we can do with it uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's my favorite set and I really want to see what it looks like upgraded to its maximum capacity. All right, now only three pieces of this set are upgradable. Obviously, the amulet is not. Uh, so let's start with Irotha's Cuff. Rotha's Cuff is 11 defense, 45 strength requirement with a level requirement of level 15. And uh, when upgraded goes to a defense of 42, a strength requirement of 85, and a level requirement of 25. Um, that is actually not a bad upgrade at all from, uh, from well, a relatively low level to a mid-level. Um, and the, the level actually goes up from 25 to 30 when I equip it uh, with a green bonus. So interesting there. Uh, the belt is actually probably a really solid upgrade because it's going to go from the uh, terrible three row potion slots to the max potion slots, uh, which is uh, very nice. And uh, so Arathas Cord is going to go from 31 defense, uh, 45 strength, and level 15 to 66 defense, 88 strength, and level 25. So very interesting. Uh, we also got the green bonus of a 10 to dexterity on there, which I forgot about earlier. <laughs> uh, we also have the... Um, Helmet, which can be upgraded, the Arathas Crown, and uh, this will upgrade from the Crown, which is 45 defense, 55 strength, level 15, to the Grand Crown, which is 106, 103, level 30. Uh, so let's look at this right now as it is. Uh, the current upgrade status is actually not bad. Uh, we got a pretty big defense bonus um, on the Grand Crown, just simply because it, uh, it went from the regular crown to the Grand Crown. We got about like 50 or 60 defense there. Uh, we also got quite a bit of defense on the Arathas Cord, uh, which wasn't bad. And then um, the defense bonus on the Cuffs wasn't amazing. Uh, but the strength requirement, um, the level requirement, none of it went so ridiculously high that it was unusable. So I will say that the Nightmare upgrade is a pretty solid one-tier upgrade. Uh, let's take a look at the third tier upgrade, uh, because why not? We've come this far, so let's have a look. So uh, let's do the uh, belt first, which is uh, Arathas Cord. And as you can see, we already have the full potion slots, so it's not really going to be a big upgrade here. Um, all this is going to do is increase the defense. So we're going to go from 66 defense, 88 strength, level 25, to the uh, Troll Belt, which is 151 strength requirement, 86 defense, and level 62, which goes up to 74 when equipped. Uh, we also have the Ratha's Battle Cuffs, which uh, can be upgraded one more tier. And these are going to go from 42 defense, strength 88, level 25, to uh, 68 defense, uh, 151 strength, level 57. And of course, those go up to 69, level 69 when equipped. Uh, the 151 strength isn't like too terribly bad because a lot of people usually do have 156 for a spirit. Um, but, you know, it is such a high level at this point. I'm not really sure uh, if it's worth it. 
The Arathas Coil Grand Crown, of course, is going to transform into a Corona when upgraded. Uh, so this one's going to go from 106 defense, 103 strength, level 25, to 135, 174, 66. And, of course, that level 78 when equipped. So, very interesting upgrades here. Um, I feel like the belt is a very solid one-tier upgrade to get the extra potion slots. Um, the belt upgrade to tier 3 was definitely not worth it because it brought the D-strength up to 151, uh, and the level requirement went way up. Arathas Cuffs uh, went way up as well to 151 strength, and, uh, and honestly, the defense increase wasn't really worth it all that much. Um, One-tier upgrade on Arathas Cord... A uh, yes, two tier upgrades, no. Um, Rotha's Cuff definitely could do one tier upgrade, but two tier upgrades, definitely a no. Um, and Arathas Coil, definitely one tier upgrade was okay, but uh, Arathas Coil to the Corona, definitely not so great, because 174 strength is a really high, much higher than a Spirit Shield. Um, now, the bonuses on Arathas are definitely very nice, and... Um, even in Hell Difficulty, believe it or not, Arathas is still quite nice. Um, I would bet that most people could still clear Hell Difficulty with Arathas on. Especially if you tag it along with a nice shield. Because usually your resistances in Hell are only just barely not good enough when you're rocking Arathas. Uh, because, you know, Arathas gives you, obviously, 65 to all res. And then if you have 30... Your negative five, which is only just barely not there, and uh, and you add a uh, a nice resistance shield, and usually it will put you right over the top and put you into the safe zone as far as resistances are concerned, which is very nice. And because Arathas has so many free slots, I mean, why not? Um, I think that Arathas is a good one tier upgrade. Um, I don't think it's a good second tier upgrade, so we'll keep that in mind. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when it is me just gushing over my favorite set in the game. And as always, keep watching.